Hey everyone. So in the last video, we learned how to make a simple map, but the Olographer has a bunch of other great and useful features as well. One of these is annotations. With annotations, you can highlight different parts of your map, add text that gives some explanation about what you're highlighting, and create a slideshow that moves the viewer from one part of your map to the next. In other words, the Olographer's annotations feature allows you to kind of turn your map into a story. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's take an example. Let's go back to the map we made in the last video that looks at the relationship between Donald Trump and Goldman Sachs and shows how Gary Cohn and Steve Mnuchin connected them. Let's go ahead and turn this map into an annotated slideshow that tells a story. And just so you know, we're going to keep things really simple just for the sake of instruction. So let's say you want to turn this map into three annotated slides. One that first says something about Trump and Goldman Sachs, then which secondly says something about Gary Cohn, and which finally says something about Steve Mnuchin. How would you do it? Well, the first thing you do is hit New Annotation, here in the upper right. We're going to make this first annotation focus just on Trump, so click Trump. You see the yellow around him? Now he's highlighted. Then you can give the annotation a title. We'll call this one Trump and Goldman Sachs. But we also need to add the actual annotation text. You do that right underneath where it says annotation text. For this, we'll just write Donald Trump promised to drain the swamp. But instead, he brought leaders of one of the biggest Wall Street banks into his administration, Goldman Sachs. Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm not going to write all this out now. I pasted it on a Word document. And so we'll just cut and paste that. And voila. So our first slide is done. Now we're going to hit New Annotation. We'll just keep this one simple and we'll call it Gary Cohn. Since we want to show here how Cohn is connecting the Trump administration to Goldman Sachs, we'll click and highlight Trump, Cohn, and Goldman Sachs. And we'll also highlight the lines connecting them. So we'll call this one, as we said, Gary Cohn. And we're going to click on Cohn, Trump, Goldman Sachs, and the lines connecting them. See how they're all highlighted? In the annotation text, we're going to write, Gary Cohn was the chief operating officer at Goldman Sachs before he left to join the Trump administration. He served as Trump's chief economic advisor. So let's cut. And we'll add that. But there's also something else you can do with annotations. You can add hyperlinks. So let's add another sentence. Cohn recently disclosed that he earned $40 million in compensation from Goldman Sachs. I'm going to take that again from the Word document. And let's take this CNBC article that discusses this. I'm copying the URL. And we'll go back to our map, and we'll highlight the part of the text right here. We're going to right click, hit the, where, the pound sign, and that's where you can just put in the link. And you click that checkbox, and voila, you got a hyperlink there now. Notice also that you can do other things in the text like make it bold, underlined, italicized, or quotes. So let's add our last annotation really quick. We'll hit new annotation and we'll add this, make this one Steve Mnuchin. We'll highlight Trump, Mnuchin, Goldman Sachs, and the lines connecting them.
So here, we'll also practice a new trick. I'm going to pull a quote from Politico about Mnuchin and paste it in the box. Here's the article, and here's the quote I want to pull. So I'll copy that, go back to the math, and where it says annotation text, we'll paste it. And now I'm going to put at the beginning, according to Politico, Now, I'll copy the URL from the Politico article, and I'll go back to the annotation and add it. So there's the hyperlink. But I'm going to do one other thing here, too. I'm going to take this, the quote, I'm going to put it in italics, and then I'm also going to add this little quote sign here. So there you go. Now, I know what you're thinking. How does all this add up to an annotated slideshow? Well, let's hit save. Map successfully saved. Awesome. And then we're going to hit view. And now we're going to go through the slides. Now, this is obviously a very simple slideshow, but hopefully you get the gist of how to make one. Now go practice and then check out our next video to learn even more tricks about how to use Little Sis's Olagrapher.